Hey guys, it's Chazing here and I just got my boobs done a month ago. The doctor doesn't tell you everything that you need to prepare for. I'm making a video on 5 things you need to get before your boob job. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. It's healing really really nicely. I started going out at around day 4 but I started comfortably going out at around week 2. Just to let you guys know, I had to wear like a brace for about a month. I kind of cheated like on New Year's Eve. I took it out for a day and went out but yeah, don't do that. So when you get your boobs done, you can't use your chest muscles at all. I felt like I ran a 2000 km marathon. And you feel a lot, a lot of tightness in your chest. So the first thing you really, really, really need to get, this is a floor chair. It is gonna be your best friend for the next few weeks. So mine will be 90 degrees when I'm sitting up and around 45 degrees when I sleep. Yes, you have to sleep with this. You can't lie down at all. So you don't realize how important your chest muscles are until you get them completely destroyed. So even simple things like lying flat down with your shoulders pulled back, you can't do that. Like my shoulders have to be like slouched a little bit because of what's going on here. So I can't even sit back on a couch, you know? So I have to have that floor chair on the couch and when I'm watching TV, like I'm using the floor chair. And when I'm sleeping, I have to sleep like kind of sitting up straight for at least a few days. So as the days go by, you can like lower the floor chair slightly. First day, I was like almost straight up. I was like 45 degrees like, like that sleeping like that and I used the lumbar rest you know those that you get from secret lab chairs and I used the travel neck pillow to sleep yeah so that was my sleep pattern for a few days number two is button down pajamas you really 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 need that sh because you cannot lift your arms at all you can't put on a shirt at all okay no matter how hard you try you should not be stretching your arms so I sleep in little cute button down pajamas that I happen to have, okay, I ordered them only a few weeks before the surgery because I thought they were cute. I didn't know it would be the biggest lifesaver, you know? So every day you just change into your new pajamas and yeah, there will be your routine. The third one is a straw. This is the one that I use to drink water. Why? Because you can't lift up your cup like this to drink water, at least for a couple of days. I'll hold my cup and I'll just... Number four is a massage chair. You can't really move your back too much and you're mostly in a slouch position. You really need a massage chair because the back of your back will start getting really sore as well as your shoulders. I happen to have an Osim New Jolly at the time. I did a campaign with Osim so they loaned me a set and I was so lucky that I had it. Every day, like twice a day, I'll spend like an hour on a massage chair. The Osim chair was really a lifesaver. It's not supposed to be a plug but I'm just saying that it really saved my life. If not, you better have someone massage you. And the fifth and most important one is you need someone to take care of you. At least for the first 24 hours, if possible, maybe for a week. The first few hours are the most crucial. You are unable to function, you are unable to do anything on your own. So I'm so lucky that I had my boyfriend and my mom take care of me. In the first hour, he cut up fruits and he fed me. And my mom brought home cooked food and fed me with it. I couldn't even eat on my own. I was just like, oh my god. After the first hour, I was a lot better and less groggy, so I could kind of do things myself. But I can't lift things, so I couldn't even lift the floor chair and lift it from the living room to my bed. It is too heavy for me to lift. I mean, if I can't lift a cup, how can I lift the floor chair? And in the next week, you can't wash your own hair. You can't lift up your arms enough to like scratch your scalp because this is the most it will go. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is the most like... So you need someone to wash your hair for the first week at least. So yeah, those are the five important things that you need to get before your boob job. And I'm gonna add another bonus thing. You need a lot of fruits and vegetables and supplements because those will really speed up your recovery. An hour before my surgery, I ordered like a bunch of fruits and like vegetables that like my partner could just cut up and feed me like right after surgery and that's what we did. And I continued to eat fruits in the next few weeks and I think it really helped with my recovery. So yeah, thanks for watching my first ever proper YouTube video. And I hope you will like and subscribe. Thank you so much.